Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We are having a very impromptu ABC Warriors week. Thanks to Warlord Games sending me out the current wave of figures. Yesterday we did the Mechana G-Men. If you've not seen that, go look at it. Came out yesterday. Now we are on to Krasbo, the terrifying mechanical spider. Oh, love it. One miniature and one game card. So the giant arachnid robots known as Krasbo, crime-related antisocial behavior operatives, clamber around the nightmarish warren of gantries and steel girders that surround Makana City. With multiple blowtorches and acid sprayers to remove graffiti by subversive scrollers such as Kroll and Z, the Silent Knight, the Krasbos are rightly feared. This contains one miniature and one card. Common theme with the ABC Warriors, the one miniature, one card. Let's see what we got inside. Ginormous box. This is going to be a big mini by the looks of it. Let's move these boxes out of my way. And it says it was backed for you by Alice. Thank you very much, Alice. Card's a bit bent up because it was inside the box for some reason. That's a new one. Nice big base. I do like a big base. Let's have a look at the card. I have to flatten that out. I do like the fact that they're normal size cards. So Krasbo. No, right, he's 16. So move six inches, shoot free, fight five, no evade, toughness six, a cooler free. Counts as a large model when being shot at, so he's easier to hit. And a wall crawler, able to climb any surface. It can ignore difficult and blocking terrain. Uh, it may end its movement in or on any terrain that it can feasibly cling upon. And it has decent range acid sprayer. 12 inch, 18 inch, plus 4 to hit <laughs> at short range, plus 1 at long range, power 4, aimed fire only, that's important, blast free, flame, and built in. It has blow torches, which is a built in close combat weapon. Range 1, plus 2 modifier, flame. Ooh. Ooh, he's gonna be a nice little brutal miniature. Oh my god, what am I seeing in here? We have a lot of stuff in here. Oh, God. There's no instruction guide. Um, let's, let's go one compartment at a time and keep them separate. And then I'm going to put them back that way so that I can build it. Ah! Oh, my God, there's so many pieces. Right, let's start off with this. It looks like... I have no idea what I'm looking at. Is this this is going to be the underneath. So that's its belly, I guess. A little bit of cleaning up needed. I'm not entirely sure how this is all going to go together. That will give me a better idea. There we go, that's the top one. It's the body. I'm going to have to give this a good scrub. A little bit of a defect on the shoulder plate. Put that down to battle damage. Very bulbous. Let's put that back in the first compartment so I know where to find it. Then we have... I... True, this is going to be the, uh, the... Is it the... That's the thorax, isn't it? On a spider and then abdomen. So I've got to assume, let's start looking at this, it's going to, oh, it plugs into there, hopefully, something like that, and then here's the head, or oh, I'm terrified by the fact that this is one resin cast piece. That is terrifying shipping. <laughs> Luckily, it survived. I don't know if it's... if I'm, I'm probably meant to chop this bit off because it has a weird number two on it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. 
So she might chop that off and that's going to go there. And I'm truly hoping that all these legs are in one piece. They do seem to be a little bit of cleanup needed. I have no idea what order these go on. Gonna take a lot of looking at the uh, the imagery and trying to work out how to build it myself. All I'm gonna say is take your time, guys. Aha, uh -huh. these are weight supporting legs because they got the uh, flat base to them. We only have three, maybe four in the entire set. That is terrifying. And then we got some more mandibles that I assume are going to go on the head. Okay, I'm going to sign off for now. And when we come back, you'll have the glamour shots of the built model. I'll give you some thoughts on it. All right, here it is. He's all built. It is massive. It is a truly stunning model. I am in awe of this kit. It was really easy to build actually i'm very surprised it was wonderfully designed each leg has a different shape to it at the end that plugs into a special plug in the body of the spider so it's very easy to put together super glued it put the mud putty on it nice easy quick lovely model from warlord games i am in awe of this i think i want to get two more and have a squad of three of them I think that might be crazy, but that's what I'm probably going to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you're back tomorrow for the grav car. But until then, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Drop me a spider in the comments and I'll say hello. Until next time, bye bye.